Howdy y'all. Gonna make a video today about the equipment I started with into reloading. And this was uh, kind of a, a thought last night on the Georgia Shooting Connection. If, like everybody put a video together of the the minimum stuff you started with, I guess you could say. <clears throat> uh, I probably started with a little bit more than minimum required, but <clears throat> it's still base, the basic stuff. So, the very first thing I got Lyman Re Reloading Book, 46th edition. And I read this book. <clears throat> Trying to figure out all the stuff, how to do reloading. <clears throat> I decided on the bullets I wanted to use. And I was going to use Sierra bullets. So I bought a Sierra manual, manual which at that time they came in two separate books. One for handguns and one for rifle. And I read all, all of these books. And the cartridge I was going to reload for for the very first time was a 303 British. So, this was in about 84, 85, somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly. But, uh, Back then, obviously, no internet and all that kind of stuff, so you just can't jump on your phone and, and order what you needed. I had uh, one local place that I knew of to go buy reloading stuff, and then you had mail order. Mail order, I mainly ordered my stuff from Gander Mountain when it was a mail order company. I think they had one store in Minnesota or wherever they was from and that was all they there was <clears throat> uh, I mean there's uh, other places to order stuff but that's where I ordered from otherwise the only other thing was going to the gun shows and when I started doing this when you go to the gun show they would be four five six booths of nothing but reloading equipment Today's gun shows ain't like that. They're all about the black gun. <clears throat> so, you might find some of your local uh, gun, gun shows that have it. I know the ones around here, there's one or two booths that has some, maybe sometimes, but sometimes they're not there. <clears throat> I don't go to gun shows too much anymore. Anyway, after reading the books, <clears throat> I bought me a press. This is an RCBS Reloader 2 Special. Now, obviously it wasn't mounted on this fancy plate here to do a quick change, but it was mounted straight to my reloading bench. It came with the, the press, obviously, and the Stuff to do the priming on it. Next thing I bought was the dies. And it's this is the original set of 303 dies I bought, but that's another story. So we bought a set of dies with a shell holder. Uh, next thing I bought was well, I don't know which one I bought in order. I just bought them as I found them and, and ordered them. But primer tray, a reloading block, this is an RCBS chamfer tool. Primer pocket cleaner. Case lube pad with case lube. Don't use this anymore. 
<clears throat> uh, powder trickler, RCBS, a Lyman weight scale checker. number 55 powder throw you don't have to have this if you're just going to reload a few hunting bullets it helps I mean you can always just scoop some out onto your beam scale this is the first scale I ever bought RCBS 510 always good to have a beam scale because they are reliable. They're not electronic. They don't have electronic problems. We run out of batteries or whatever. Beam scales are always good to fall back on. Uh, next thing was I bought was a Lyman trimmer. Case length trimmer. Trim them to length. That's what I started with. Other than uh, I had one friend that he would reload for some of his stuff with a friend of his equipment. That's the only person I knew that was reloading. Only, only advice I could get. So everything I learned was out of these books and trial and experience. So, it doesn't take a lot to get started. That's the basics I started with. Oh, wait a minute, one more. Now, I've got them somewhere, but I don't know where they're at. I had a pair of plastic calipers. Even though I'm a machinist and I had sets of these around. Matter of fact, I've got another set right here. After I graduated from the plastic ones, I went to the a pair of Brown and Sharp dial It's all that's really needed to reload. I mean, like I say, this is really more than you have to have. But that's the basics I started with when I started. Because I like I say, I've, I've got the books, I read them. And then as I was reading them, I was buying these components that I needed. And after that, I have got a lot of stuff since then. So it's been over 30 years of reloading. And for a while there, I didn't reload. Uh, just kind of got out of shooting for a little while. And when I came back, it's like, Oh my God, I'm, I've acquired so much equipment since what I came back. It's pitiful. But that's the basics to reloading equipment to me. So, let me see what you started with. Thanks for watching.